Hey guys, these are my AQA 2016 B2 predictions. So, first of all, I am not an examiner. I do not have any insider knowledge. I do not know any secrets. And I'm not a biology teacher. So I don't necessarily have the gut feeling for this that I do for chemistry and physics. But I've been doing lots and lots of research and this is what I've come up for you. They love asking experimental questions in B2. And these are pretty tricky experimental questions. It might be about something you've done in class. It might not be about something that you've done in class. You're really, really going to need to know your graphs really well. You're going to be able to look at a graph, interpret the pattern that is coming from it. What does this graph tell you? What is the difference between these two lines on the graph tell you? You're going to need to work out your mean and your anomalies. You're also going to be able to have to you're also going to have to know your variables really well, so your independent, your dependent, and your control variables. They love asking about stuff like this. B2 has a really solid stack of four mark questions that come up repeatedly. Because biology is pretty wordy, there's not going to be just a six mark question. There's going to be a six mark question, and a five mark question, and a couple of four mark questions as well. And these are all going to be long paragraphs you have to write. If you have your standard, your stock answer pre-prepared before you go into the exam, that is really, really going to help you. The best way to do this is by going back over with mark schemes and seeing what the examiners expect in a four mark question. Things they love asking four mark questions on are photosynthesis and respiration all types of respiration and things affect photosynthesis. They love asking about exercise, how that affects heart rate, whether it's good for you or not. A four mark question on that would be amazing. They love doing genetic crosses. Every single paper I looked at had a genetic cross in. And I, I really like doing genetic crosses as well because they're really logical. Once you learn the rules and how to do them, you'll be fine. But this is the sort of thing that will just require practice. A couple of other things they like asking format questions on are enzymes. Now there are a lot of enzymes in here, how they affect your digestion, how they interact with stuff that you eat. They love asking questions on that. Another thing that comes up a lot is evolution and speciation. So how does one thing develop this way and another thing develop this way? They love asking questions about that. Other things that seem to come up a lot, but maybe not in quite such a big way, maybe for short questions, are cells. So stem cells, embryo cells, plant cells, bacterial cells, all different types of cells. I'm afraid you're gonna to need to know the functions of each part, what each part are called, and how they divide, so meiosis and mitosis. You're going to need to know lots of different inherited diseases, so polydactyly, cystic fibrosis, you're going to need to know the details of those, whether they're dominant, whether they're recessive, and this links back into the genetic cross. You're going to need to know about your plants, so how different things affect plants, not only the plant cells, but how things like temperature and oxygen and sunlight affect plants. There are loads of places they can ask you ethical questions in here. So things to do with maybe embryos, things to do with diseases, DNA fingerprinting. Lots of different things could come up in this. Now, for six mark questions, there is quite a broad range of stuff they have in biology to ask you about. Not like physics or chemistry, where we've got quite a limited number of topics. Here, there is a broad, broad range, and there doesn't appear to be a pattern in the six mark questions. They range from embryos to plant cells and the digestive system. Last year, they asked about quadrats, which they have asked about before, and the year before, it was on diffusion. So, it suggests to me it might be something about cells this year. Now, this could be plant cells, or this could be um, division of cells, or this could be embryo screening. There's really a lot they could ask about this. So, those are my predictions, my second ever biology video. Do you want me to make more biology videos, or should I just stick with the chemistry and the physics predictions? Um, I know how hard you've been working. We are really, really close to the end. And I'm really, really proud of how hard you guys have been working. Keep it up. 
any questions you've got, pop them in the comments below and I will do my very, very best to help you. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I really hope you found this video helpful. If you want to say thank you or if you want access to my online classroom priority video requests or to do all the books I'm publishing, you can pop over to Connors or keep up to date with everything on my website. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. And if you follow me on Twitter or like me on Facebook, you'll get all the updates there. Thanks for watching guys. I really hope you found this helpful anything else you need, any other help you need, just let me know below.